Happy New Year, everyone. For many of us, this month of January can be very, very cold and we need to wear lots of clothing like hats and scarves and mittens to keep ourselves warm. Have you ever lost one of your mittens? And did you ever find it again? Hello everyone, welcome to Journey with Story. Today's episode is an encore episode that we aired a while back about a little boy who loses his mitten in the snow but finds it again when spring arrives. It is one of our most popular episodes and it comes from the country of Ukraine. Remember, you can write to us and tell us what your favourite episode is And you can also send us your drawings so we can share with others at www.journeywithstory.com. Let's take an encore journey with The Lost Mitten. Once upon a time, on a cold and snowy day, a little boy set off through the forest in search of kindling for his grandmother. He dressed in his warmest winter snowsuit and put on his beautiful furry mittens that his grandmother had knitted especially for him. The snow was so deep that it was hard to find the broken twigs and branches. And so the boy dragged his sled deeper and deeper into the woods. And there he spotted a place where the woodcutter worked. He rushed ahead to the clearing and began up all the small pieces of kindling the woodcutter had left. But in his hurry he never noticed that one of his beautiful mittens had dropped from the sled and fallen onto the snow. With his sled now full of kindling the little boy headed back through the woods. But his hand felt cold. He stopped to get the mitten from the sled but no mitten. The boy looked everywhere under each stick of kindling, below the sled and all around it, but still no mitten. So the little boy shoved his cold hand into his pocket and started again for home. Meanwhile, the beautiful furry mitten lay upon the snow, and in a little while, A mouse came scuttling up, and when he saw the mitten, he stopped and climbed right in and said, This is where I am going to live. After a while, a frog came hopping up, and when he saw the mitten, he stopped and called out, Croak, croak, who is living in this mitten? I am Crunch Munch the Mouse, and who are you? I am Hopstop the Frog, let me in. Oh, all right, there's always room for one more. Jump in. So the frog jumped in and the mouse moved over and the two of them made their home in the mitten. After a while, a rabbit came scurrying up and when he saw the mitten, he stopped and he called out, Hello there, who's living in this mitten? We are Crunch Munch the Mouse and Hop Stop the Frog. And who are you? I'm Fleet Feet the Rabbit. May I join you? All right, there's always room for one more. Jump in. So the rabbit jumped in and the mouse and the frog moved over and the three of them made their home in the mitten. After a while, a fox came scampering up. yoo Who is living in this mitten? We are Crunch Munch the Mouse, Hop Stop the Frog and Fleet Fleet the Rabbit. And who are you? Ha <laughs> I'm Smiley Wiley the Fox and I'm so cold. Can I come in? So the mouse and the frog and the rabbit moved over. There is always room for one more. Jump in. And so the fox climbed in and the four of them made their home in the mitten. After a while, a wolf came stalking up. And when he saw the mitten, he stopped and he called out, Hello, friends. Who is living in this mitten? We are Crunch Munch the Mouse. Up stop the frog. Flip feet the rabbit and smile while the fox. And who are you? I'm Howly Prowly the wolf, and I mean to get in. Very well, there is always room for one more. Go ahead. So the wolf climbed in, and the mouse and the frog and the rabbit and the fox moved over, and the five of them made their home in the mitten. 
After a while, a wild boar came sauntering up. Who's living in this mitten? We are Crunch Munch the Mouse, Hop Stop the Frog, Fleet Fleet the Rabbit, Smiley Wiley the Fox, and Howl the Brown of the Wolf. And who are you? I am Snout Rout the Boar, and I'm sure you want me to join you. Oh, dear, dear. Everybody wants to get into this mitten. You won't find it easy to get in, Snout Rout. Never mind, I'll manage. In you go then, but don't say we didn't warn you. So the boar squeezed in and then there were six of them in the mitten and they were so cramped that they couldn't move. By and by, with a crackling of twigs, a bear came lumbering up and when he saw the mitten he stopped and bellowed, Hello good people, who's living in this mitten? We are Crunch Munch the Mouse, Hop Stop the Frog, Fleet Fleet the Rabbit, Smiley Wiley the Fox, Howly Proudly the Wolf, Snout Rope the Boar, and who are you? Ho 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 ho, I'm Grumbly Rumbly the Bear, and though you're quite a crowd, I know you'll make room for me. How can we? We're cramped as it is. Where there's a will, there's a way. Oh, all right. Edge in, but don't forget that you're not the only one. So the bear squeezed in too, and now there were seven of them inside, and they were so cramped that the fur lining began to stretch and stretch. Just then they heard a chirp, chirp, chirping sound. It was cricket. It is so cold outside, please may I come in? Mouse, frog, rabbit, fox, wolf, boar and bear all fought. If we can get a great big bear in here, then surely we can make room for a tiny cricket. Yes, of course, there's always room for one more, they said, and they held their breaths to make room for little cricket. But now the fur lining on the mitten stretched even more. It stretched and stretched and stretched. And this time it stretched so far that the stitches holding it together broke. And the beautiful fur lined mitten burst open. Out all the creatures tumbled, and now the wind had stopped howling and the sun was peeking through the clouds, so all of them rushed back to their homes in the great woods. Only Cricket was left. He found one teeny tiny patch of the mitten and he said, This will make a fine home for me to wait out the winter. And that is what he did. One day, the following spring, when the little boy was playing along the path near the woods, he found a scrap from the knitted mitten. When he picked it up, he heard a voice. Chirp, chirp. Who is moving my warm home? It is only I, the little boy who lives in the house by the woods. How did you come to have this scrap of my mitten? Chirp, chirp. That is quite a story. Sit here on the stack of kindling and let me tell you what happened on a cold day last winter. Cricket hopped on the little boy's shoulder and he told the story of how the beautiful furry mitten his grandmother had knitted for him became his home for the winter. What do you think this story souvenir is? Remember, the story souvenir is that little glimmer of truth about life that lingers with us after listening. Yes, I bet you got it. The souvenir is always try and make room for one more. It could be making room in your house or your classroom or making room in your heart. That might be a very good New Year's resolution for everyone. Always try to make room. Happy New Year. Cheerio then. Join me next time for Journey with Story.
Music and post-production was by Colette Jonas. <laughs>